you are welcome to my channel so uh today we are going to talk about python objects and data structures so if this is your first time in my channel please click the subscribe button welcome once again everyone uh today we are going to focus on uh, the basic data types in python so we are going to discuss basic data types in python in this section of the course, we will cover the key data type in Python. These are your building blocks when constructing larger pieces of code. So let's quickly discuss all of the possible data types. Then we will have a lecture that go into more detail about one. Uh, so let's go in more detail about the data types. Uh, so here is the table. Uh, here is the name, the type, and the description. Type is a, a special keyword that uh, Python used to represent uh, the data types, such as uh, integers, int, uh, which is whole numbers, such as 3, 200, floating points. There are numbers with the decimal points. Strings. Strings are other sequence of characters, as you can see below. Lists list are other sequence of objects. Tuples. Tuples are other immutable sequence of objects. Set are on other collection of unique objects such as a and b as you can see in the table below booleans are logical value indicating true or false uh dictionaries which is dict is on other key value pairs so in, in further in this uh lecture we will talk more detail about uh data structure uh so here we go uh let's get started so there are, there are two main numbers types we will uh, discuss about, which is uh, integers, which are whole numbers, floating points, which are numbers with decimal. So we we are going to explore basic math with Python. We will use discuss how to create variables and assign them values. So uh, let's go into our Jupyter notebook. So yeah, we are going to use Python for uh, a little calculations. So we are going to uh, perform a little calculation using Python. Uh, so let's do this. So you want to do a, uh, a plus sign, just two plus two, addition sign. You see, it gives you four. Uh, let's do a subtraction. Use the minus sign to put minus one. I want to do a multiplication. Use the times two times two. Let's see, it's equal to four. And you want to do the division sign, use uh, the slash. I see 1.5. Um, mode or mode operator. So it returns back uh, the remaining after uh, division. Uh, so as you can see here, if you do uh, 7 uh, divided by 4, it will give you 1.75. Uh, so in the mode operator, uh, we, let us do seven uh, uh, mode. Seven mode four. It gives us three. Yeah. Then we do again. Fifty mode five gives us zero. So let's check if a number is even or not. Uh, so we look for an even number you find a number to check if it's even or not so let's check number 23 23 mod 2 you see it gives us 1 we divide uh 20 mod uh 2 as an even number 20 is an even number okay give us uh output zero so as you can see so let's continue let's continue with power in python so you can do something like two um power three you see it gives us uh eight so i want to perform a multiple operation so I do two, two plus one, two plus ten times ten plus three. Uh, it, it gives me order of five. 
so uh, so I do uh, inside the parentheses I do 2 plus 10 times 10 plus 3 it give me 156 so see you in the next lecture so we're going to drill a very variable assignment um, how to grade a variable and how to assign a value to a variable so let's get into discussion in our previous course we just look on how to work with numbers but what do these numbers represent it would be nice to assign these data types a variable name to easily reference them later in our code for example my underscore docs is equal to two which means i have two docs so in in python there are rules several rules for variable names number one names cannot start with a number there can be no space in the name use underscore instead can't use any of this symbol in our code so the rules for variable name is considered best practice that names are lowercase. Avoid using words that have special meaning in Python, such as list and string. It will give you error. Python uses uh, dynamic typing. Uh, that is why it's different from other programming language. This means you can redesign variables to different data types. This makes Python very flexible in assigning data types. This is different than other languages that use statical types, such as C++. For example, I assign two to my docs. Then, uh, in my next uh, code, I assign um, a list, Sammy and Frankie, to my doc. This is okay in Python, but in other programming language, if you do this, such as C++, it's other, it's, it shows error in other languages. So, in other languages like um, C++, you need to write int my docs integer. Then in your next code, you write my docs is equal to Sami. So you'll not be able to reassign it. Uh, so dynamic typing in Python is very easy to work with. Faster development time. So cons of dynamic typing may result in box for unexpected data types. You need to be aware of type in Python. So uh, we are going to explore this concept. So let's create uh, a variable, then assign a value to it. So I uh, create a variable name A, assign value 5. You see, in my code, whenever I call A, it will give me an output of 5. You see, uh, I create a variable A, I assign 10 to A. If I call that A, it gives me the output 10. So that is simple the way it is. Then I call A plus A because 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. It gives me 20 because that is the value of A. The value of A is 10. So I I can reassign it. You see, if I call that A, it gives me 10. And I call A is equal to A plus A. When I call out the variable A, it will give me outputs because a plus a is 20 that is uh, the value of uh, a is 10 so 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 